All right, that's it for us here at 5 o'clock. Here's a look at what's coming up new at 6 with Stan and Deb. <laughs> Student debt canceled for millions. I'm Jared Hill in Washington with what you need to know about the president's new plan. One person is dead and six others are hurt after a shooting in northwest Baltimore. Coming up, I'll show you the car that police are looking for. Al Capone, pandemic fraud, and reducing violent crime. How those three things are connected. I'm Kate Amara, live in East Baltimore. Live, local, late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News at 6. Tonight, a mass shooting in northwest Baltimore. At the same time, Governor Hogan and the mayor are announcing crime-fighting initiatives. The plans to get violent criminals off the streets as police search for those responsible for this afternoon's shooting. People who start finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt to get on top of their rent and their utilities. But first, relief is on the way for millions of students and their families. Good evening, everybody. I'm Stan Stovall. And I'm Deborah Wiener. Today, President Biden announced a plan to forgive debt for millions of students. $10,000 of your federal loan will be canceled if you make less than $125,000 a year. We're still ahead on 11 News at 6, a crime-fighting tool for Baltimore City Police is getting an upgrade. The contract to enhance cell phone tracking technology and the safeguards to ensure it doesn't get misused. Jerry Sandusky at Ravens camp, where young defensive star Adafi Owe shares his enthusiasm over the Ravens' revamped defense this year. We'll hear what he has to say a little later in sports. Warm temperatures continue, more humidity on the way, and that brings a chance for a few thunderstorms in the seven-day forecast. Right now, forgiving college student loan debt. The president lays out his plan, who it covers and for how much, and the debate over whether it's fair. Also, the remarkable results from treating addiction with hallucinogens when we see you back here tonight. Now, your WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tesselmeyer. 89 degrees today at BWI Marshall, like yesterday, a couple degrees above normal. The morning low at 67 degrees is also just two degrees above normal. So pretty typical 24th day of August in Baltimore. Now, 11 Sports, brought to you by the Big Screen Store. With you live from the Under Armour Performance Center, where it's just three days now until the final preseason game, less than a week until the final roster cut down, and only 18 days until the season kicks off to the Meadowlands on September 11th. We're working on for 11 News tonight, seven people shot this afternoon at a northwest Baltimore intersection. Reaction from neighbors and Curtis Bay residents expressed their concerns almost nine months after a coal plant exploded. The environmental factors that they are concerned about. Those stories are more tonight on 11 News after Chicago Pete. On Sunday and still close to 90 degrees in the middle of next week. Tom, thank you. That's it for 11 News at 6. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Thank you for watching WBAL TV 11 News. Get caught up on local news, originals, and more. Download the very local app now and stream for free on Roku and Amazon Fire TV.